in development for over 800 years. Delayed for seven more, the last Guardian has finally arrived. And boy, is it a gorgeous game. A masterful work of art. That being said, this game kind of sucks ass. It is tragic when you want to appreciate a game for the story, setting, art, and overall atmosphere, but you just can't because the game is actually just so bad. Watching this game, it, it is stunning, really. But playing it, oh my god, it is another story. It is almost unbearably frustrating to play. It is a dull mess of clunky mechanics, lack of gameplay, and unbelievably annoying AI. When the whole game being an enjoyable experience is entirely dependent on how you feel towards the relationship between the little boy and the giant doggo. Maybe don't make the dog fucking dumb as hell. Ugh. So much of this game's playtime is spent just repeating commands to Tam Jeffrey, praying to the RNG gods that he does what you want him to do. I named the doggo Jeffrey because uh, Trico, really? Trico? You're gonna call him Trico and expect me to not think of the fucking green twig Pokemon? No, this boy, this boy is Jeffrey. I fucking hate Jeffrey. Nah, as much as I hate Jeffrey, Jeffrey is not the only frustrating problem you get to experience. The game is obviously more of an emotional tale than a vaguely exploratory puzzle platformer. That being the case, it, it doesn't excuse it from having the shittiest mechanics and control scheme. It can't possibly be just me, because the goddamn tutorial for how to do specific actions never stops popping up throughout the entire game. Here's one from the beginning of the game. Here's one in the last hour of the game. There's also no option to turn it off, because, you know, why would there be? It's not like they had time to fix these small things. It's things like this and so many minor little things that feel ever so slightly annoying that perpetually build up that make you just constantly feel horribly frustrated at the game. For the small platforming segments, these little problems become increasingly prominent. Every time you jump, you stumble. Every time you roll, you stumble. Any fluidity of motion is ruined. And it turns every jump between platforms into a clunky annoyance. If you introduce any element of a platformer into a game without fluidity of motion, it's not fun. It's just annoying to play. It is frustrating to do basic movement in the game. Wh why? Speaking of unbearably frustrating, let's get back to fucking Jeffrey. The worst dog in the world. This fucking doggo. Oh my god, he's one of the anno most annoying things to climb around on. And considering that 70% of the game is probably spent climbing Jeffrey, well, you can probably understand why this game is annoying as hell. Because along with often getting just stuck trying to get off of Jeffrey, you'll often find yourself climbing the wrong direction because the camera just wants to fuck you. This game has basically got N64 status of camera control. Now, even, even with all the terribleness that goes along with this game, there are some like cool mechanics every now and then. But I mean, it's very sparingly a cool mechanic that happens. Mostly you're just walking and going slow or waiting. These, these cool mechanics are always overshadowed by the ever-increasing level of annoying things that become noticeable and just more and more noticeable while playing. The, the fact that the game seems to think it can get away with not providing an explanation for everything in kind of a Dark Souls-esque way, I, like, I, I don't know why they think they can do that. There's nothing that happens in the game to keep you engaged. You can't have mystery without engaging the person playing the goddamn game. There's no action. There's no sense of danger, ever. I literally put my controller down to type in a Google Doc so as to like keep track of like, I don't know, that's a cool clip maybe, or funny shit, or there's this is when the camera fucked up beyond belief. That, that happened more often than not. But I put my controller down to type in a Google Doc and this happened. It look, it's so pretty. It's a beautiful game. And I wish I could appreciate the art, but I fucking can't. I am by no means a completionist or collector. But having that in a game gives the world a sense of potential exploration. It's totally fine to not have that. But only if you actually have things going on in the game. There's nothing nothing happens. There's nothing happening in the game. At all, ever. There's like the last two hours that there's some stuff happens. 
for like 30 minutes total, maybe. It's just to focus on a little boy's relationship with a fucking giant doggo. It's Clifford with wings. Oh, oh, Jeffrey. Oh, I hate you. It still manages to have a very good ending. Like, story-wise, engagement, like, you, can, you actually have to do shit in the end. And it's, it feels like you're actually playing a video game for the first time throughout the entire thing. And that's... That's, that's, that's terrible. You can't have that. You can't have nothing leading up to, like, a good part of the game. And then it t tells you, hey, here's how to drop down from a ledge, by the way, in case you fucking forgot. It is way too big of a problem that, if you, that you want to enjoy the game. But you have to ignore every element of it in order to enjoy it. This game was awful to play. It is beautiful to watch. I desperately wish that this game was fun to play so I could appreciate the clear work and heart that was put into all the artwork and the setting and the story and it was, oh, what a story that it could have been. But I can't, I just fucking can't because Jeffrey and little boy Peep are the worst. Oh, I want to kill them both. I think if someone condensed the cinematic footage and gameplay into like an hour and a half of a little movie, it would be a thousand times better than playing playing it. Oh, oh my god, I, I can't. It's, it's fucking awful. I'm, I'm gonna give this game a 7. Out of 13. It's, uh, it's not good. Hey guys, uh, Red Riot, hello, that's me. Uh, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, I'm gonna make some more non-league content and kind of shit. You know, get, get ready for that. It's not, not reviews too often. However, I definitely felt this game really needed a review that actually told it fairly directly for what the problems in this game really are. But hey, see you next time.